Hello, Libra. Welcome to your April 2019 love reading. If you are new, I'm sorry, I just finished eating M&Ms. Taurus problems. If you're new, my name is Princess India. Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning viewer slash subby slash lovey dovey slash person that I love so much, how you journey? So we're doing things the same, but a little bit different. I'm including it over and all. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. It's happening to my life. Sagittarius, that's what happened. Anyway, moving right along. Your overall energy, which is a part of your extended reading, um, and it's the energies between you as well as your person of interest. Then we're doing overall energies for each individual. And um, then we're going to go into the details of the situation. And then as we dig a little deeper, we're going over to Vimeo to the Lurkers Lounge to see what's going on with your person of interest. So here's the deal. With the first row, if you're a Libra or you're watching this to cross-watch a Libra, you may resonate here. But as we saw for Sagittarius, I mean, it's no holds bar. Anybody can be anywhere, okay? We really don't know. It's just, you know, you have to know your level of, uh, you know, what's going on in your life and things of the sort. And then the second row would be the person of interest. So I am not going to waste any more of your time. We're going to jump right in. And of course, as always, we're going to end with the dice of resonance. So... The first cards we have for Libra, we have Observe and we have Balance. This is the Hanged Man in Temperance. Interesting. Then we have the Two of Pentacles, Find Balance. Then we have the Six of Swords, which is Healing Begins. So I can tell you now, Libra, you and your person... Um, and this has been a theme for everyone this month. I don't know if everybody in their mom in separation, if everybody done broke up, you know, cuffing season is officially over. You know, if y'all trying to have a hot summer, I don't know what the deal is, but there's gaps in relationships right now. And um, if I were to, I don't know why my attention is being bought to this, but if I look at this energetically, it's kind of like two people where one is kind of more above the other. Because I'm looking at that with the, the hanged man and temperance with there being 14 and 12. It's like one person is a smidget above. But the whole key is here that I'm seeing, whether it's for Libra or it's for their person of interest, this is a season in which you are paused, right? You're trying to get into alignment to cultivate that balance within. So this to me would infer that it, this is telling you what needs to be done. There needs to be a time where you kind of step back, surrender to what's going on, because I feel like you guys are trying to balance too much in your lives right now so kind of like a work-life balance kind of thing so you have a lot going on whether it's like kids family work school it's like you're juggling a whole lot of stuff and you're trying to keep everything in the air and um I feel like what the message with this is you're trying to get everything in order externally but the issue is like internally and what it, like spirit is asking you to do is very counterintuitive, which is to pause, <laughs> to to look at your situation from more of an objective standpoint and to wait until spirit gives you clarity on how to move forward. Right. Because I feel like right now, the way that you're trying to balance everything in an external sense and kind of like not listening to your intuition, it's kind of making things more complicated is making things more difficult than they necessarily need to be. Right. Because it's a process, like almost like a transition that you guys are going through, right? But it's a message of saying that you don't have to do this alone. You know what I'm saying? Like spirit wants to help you. Spirit wants to move you to calmer waters. It's just the, um, not your method. You're kind of attacking the problem from the wrong area. And spirit wants to show you the proper way to approach it in so many words. So hopping into our first row of cards, which is Malibra people or Macross watchers. We have the magician in the reverse. I can't talk. I want to say the magician in the mirror in the reverse, not the magician in the reverse. Two totally different things. So one thing I can say, there's... um. Self-doubt and a lack of self-empowerment uh, with this card. It's almost feeling like you're at the will of the situation, looking at your overall energy. I mean, that makes total, complete sense to me, Libra. Like, if you're in a position now where you can't go backwards or you can't go forward, I feel like you're probably interpreting it as if things are not working out for you 
but this is probably like the best possible thing to happen to you. And I said it to someone else uh, this month as well, but this is something that's very much needed. It's almost like um, backing you into a corner to take a break because it's like you're spinning your wheels right now, right? And there is a level of feeling um, as if you don't have the power to change your situation. This card in the upright is being fully aware that you possess the power, you wield the power, the fact that everything in your life is a reflection of you. That's already a theme that's kind of coming up here, like the mirror effect and balance uh, overall and the mirror effect, not with another person. Well, I mean, it's a love reading. So technically this does affect another person, but I'm saying it from a singular standpoint first. So it's like the state of your relationship, the state of your life, whatever everything looks like on the outside is spirit's way of saying, hey, that's what you look like on the inside. Just saying, throwing that out there, right? So there's a need for you to see that you are the author of your present. You are the author of your future. You've been the author of your past. And it's time to step back into your power and to manifest from within to without what you want your life to look like as opposed to manifesting without I don't know if you're under the impression that's going to do something within, but it's not. Just saying. Anyway, first card. Oh, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Then we have the Knight of Wands. And then we have the King of Cups in reverse. What is going on, Libra? Like, you're your old. Your scale's all unbalanced, babe. What's going on? So, okay, with the Knight of Wands, you, it's just so counterintuitive. You're trying to harness your energy because you're tired as hell because you've been spinning your wheels. So you're trying to harness your energy to, like, make it to the finish line. Like, I just got to make it. Just everything in me, I just got to keep pushing, right? But in the meantime, and this falls right underneath the Fine Balance card, you're doing sloppy work. You're not doing your best work. You're not putting 110% effort because it's almost as if you're nearing burnout. Okay? Now, I'm still talking about this in a singular sense. So, I'm not even speaking on yet how this relates to your other person. But it's like, you're tired. You know what I'm saying? It's feeling almost a sense of victimhood. And this is draining the life out of you, right? I would definitely say burnout. That's literally what it is. So I don't know if it's just like this is work stuff with your job, things in your life being kind of topsy-turvy and this inadvertently is affecting your relationship, but you're literally like on your last leg, Libra, because y'all have been doing a lot. It's like you're pushing yourself past your breaking point and then still trying to do more. But the work that you're putting out in the process is not your best work. Like it's very... Uh, it's like sloppiness. You know what I'm saying? And this doesn't even have to be like physical, like projects and things of the sort. But I mean, at your job, in your relationship with your kids, like at school, whatever. It's just like your heart isn't 100% in it because it's like you're like soul tired. Like you're exhausted in every sense of the word type of thing, right? Now, with the King of Cups in reverse, you're depleted. Um,. <laughs> How many descriptors can I come up with? But I'm feeling this more in an emotional sense of like you being, um, it's like you're cut off from yourself and other people. So it's almost like a forced isolation. You know what I'm saying? So it's like whatever in your life is kind of stagnating right now or whatever is causing you to get pause. This is spirit trying to help you before you burn yourself completely out. And burnout is like such a serious thing, dude. But the thing is, is being cut off from other people, and I feel like allowing other people in could kind of help you balance all of this stuff, because it's like, and I'm saying it again, your inner state is starting to manifest outside of you. Like, the reason why it seems like if it's not one thing, it's another, because inside, if it's not one thing, it's another, because it's feeling at the will of the situation, so there's a need to kind of take your power back. And rest if needed, you know, and uh, more of an objective standpoint. Now, with your person, oh, God, it's two cards. Okay. Your person, they have the storm warning in reverse in the yin and yang card. So the worst is over for them. And they're also trying to get balanced. Okay. People who are mirroring each other. It's interesting. 
their first card good lord the world in reverse what is happening in y'all life jesus then we have the eight of wands in reverse and then we have the eight of cups oh lord to be Ah, uh, okay. So, um, I'm gonna have to say that this is a relationship that's clearly over. Clearly, clearly over. Um, and I can't even say that that somebody is at fault, really, because I'm seeing so much of the same energy but from two sides right but it's like with with the cross well not the cross watcher but the person of interest wherever you fit wherever you fit you know but the whole thing is with them there's a a, a, a there was an uneven way the two of you were relating to each other right and i think it's more or less and this is gonna sound kind of odd Somebody was like the aggressor, like somebody was like taking a lot of action and I would have to say that would probably be Libra. Like they were putting time, energy and effort into the relationship so much so to the point that they're now like emotionally drained. Like, I have literally done all that it is I can possibly do. I have reached the end of my rope type of deal, you know? And it's like them in relation to the other person, it's it's run them dry, like their well is dry, right? But then with the crossword watcher person, it's like they were more of the receiver you know what I'm saying? So it's like all of this energy that Libra was putting in, this person was like sucking it out. You know what I'm saying? And this is so odd. And I feel like, dog, this may really, really just be, this may, this reading feels kind of how it was with Sag, where I'm, my intention is to talk about two people, but it's like, I'm really just talking about one person. And I don't know if that one person is the Libra or if that one person is the cross watcher, because this mirroring is so insane, right? But it's more or less one of these people disempowered themselves to the other because there wasn't an equal give and take in the relationship, right? But there's one person who's still trying to put energy into it and it's it's like it's over with <laughs> like there's nothing really here you feel what i'm saying because if there was a breakup prior to this it's like the worst is already over and spirits trying to come in to balance stuff out like almost like the justice card right but one of these people is still trying to pour into the situation so yeah this is pouring into a cycle that's over you feel me it's like, wow, okay, thank you, Spirit. This is so interesting. The reason why this situation is sucking the life out of you, whoever you are, is because, you know, death can only beget more death. Whatever happened where this ended, the thing that got you in the hangman position in the first place was, again, the best possible thing that could happen to you. So now you should be focused on yourself, right? Healing yourself. You feel me? getting yourself back in balance because like the tower fell <laughs> you know hurricane katrina part two came you know 80 percent of your city is flooded proverbially speaking sorry my new orleans is coming out still wounded by that anyway so everything is kind of wiped out but there's a resistance to moving forward you know what i'm saying and i don't know who is who because it's like even though these are different cars, I'm seeing the same energy on both sides. Somebody has checked out. Somebody is gone. There's someone else who's still trying to put energy into this. But the thing is, is the cycle is over. And I think everyone is aware that the cycle is over. But there's a person, whether it's Libra or their cross watcher, that does not want to move forward. It's like you don't want to let go. It's like I know it's over, but I'm not ready to move on yet. Right? But the good thing is, is with the Eight of Cups, 
it's going to happen. And this is like in the near future, you know? So, wow, my computer just flashed. I have no idea what that was. And that's really creepy. But anyway, but the worst is over. And I feel like it's almost, and that's very well the energy I could be picking up on with this hanged man of like being in this place of stagnancy. I can't go forwards and I can't go backwards because this is just needing to heal right now, needing to get your mind right because you're not in a place to move forward. But it's like, in the well what you're going into is a place to where it's needing to emotionally reconnect with the self right and i mean i don't know maybe this is like a twin flamey kind of thing i don't know because when i tell you it's like these are two different types of cards but it's like i'm seeing the same story from both people it's like both people are doing the same exact thing. Both people are feeling the same things. But it's like, like how I say there's an aggressor? It's like I feel that they're two sides of the same coin. It's like there was a person who was a giver and there was a person that was a taker. But it's like the person who took, took it because the person gives. And as you're giving, they're taking. And as... You know, it's just like this this cycle thing that I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, hell, I don't know. I mean, it's a karmic cycle. I can't say whether or not it's a karmic partner or not, but this is a karmic cycle. And it's a, a, a yeah, this is it. It's a, it's a karmic cycle. And why I'm feeling the energy of the justice card is because spirit is coming in to balance this out so this does not keep going on. Because it's to the point where it's like killing this person's spirit. You know what I'm saying? Staying in something like this any longer than this is literally killing the person's spirit. Like it's sucking their life force out to where you're starting to feel as if you're dead inside. Like if you want to know what death is like, it's to be alive but feel nothing. It's like I am just numbed out. I'm neither angry nor sad I'm just indifferent. I'm just here and existing and going through the motions, but there's literally no light in my life. There is no darkness. There just is, and not in a positive kind of way. That's what I'm feeling. But then, like I say, at the same time, I'm not seeing anything that's indicative of either person being the aggressor. Like, I don't see a victim here. That's the thing that that's interesting about this. It's like each person was equally at fault for how they were relating because the way that they were relating to each other was dysfunctional. So it's almost like the ultimate enabler. You know what I'm saying? The two enabled each other's uh, weaknesses in a way that was so seamless that it's like toxic in the, six, as in the sense that it became like a vortex for life force energy. I know that may sound really odd, but that is what the heck I see here, people. I don't know. <laughs> a vortex for sucking the life force out of two humans. So there's one person, and like I said, that lagging behind, there's one person that's kind of lagging behind and accepting that this is over. But, and I mean, and I can't say, I'll look into that in the extended, but I mean, I can't say whether or not this is supposed to, where are my oracles? I can't say whether or not this is supposed to be over, over, or like I said, if that's like a karmic partnership or if this is like a, like a, I think to me, ideally, this is what like a, a twin flame type of situation would look like in the sense of equality. So you don't have a person who's comatose and a person who's woke. You know what I'm saying? And like the person who's in a coma, them becoming like sleep woke. <laughs> you know, it's it's like the two people, it's like they're just one little step underneath each other. So it's the same level of awareness, but it's the way that they're relating to other people is something that needs to be fixed. But I feel like each per well, not fixed, but addressed. But I feel like both people are aware of their shortcomings. You know what I'm saying? Both people are aware of what's been done. It's just for one, it's kind of difficult it's kind of difficult for one to move forward. And I think it's more of an emotional sense, but they will. So they're struggling right now, but they will, if that makes sense. I pray to God that that makes sense. Meerkat. 
Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. Hmm. Sounds like a little support group there. You know? I'm going to do your dice of resonance. I feel like I should pull another one. Get support from a trusted group of friends. Yeah, man. It's like needing. And that's why I said, like with this right here, like the king of. So this is for the person who's in the first row, the one that had the magician in the mirror in reverse. It's like, I feel like with this person in the second row, they're feeling very similar. You know what I'm saying? Like they recognized it. I feel like with this row, which is Libra, <laughs> like they're trying to prepare themselves for another round. This other person, the person in the second row is clear that this needs to end, but they're not ready to move forward yet. So they're kind of like in purgatory, so to speak, but they are going to move forward. But the energy of healing is influencing both people in the near future. But in the near future, the person in Libra's position is still kind of stagnated in the fact that they're isolating themselves from people. They're isolating themselves in their emotions and they're not connecting with people, right? And uh, so I think where the meerkat card comes in is there's a need to reach out to your friend group or people that you trust to discuss what you're going through because I feel like they're going to be a big help in kind of getting you over that hump. And the next card that we have is boar. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. Well, dag nabbit son of a gun. I would say that's for the other person. Yeah, dude. Face the music. That's for the, the other person. The worst is over. I know that it's terrifying to think about moving on, but it's something that needs to be done because you can't stay here. Because death begets more death. If this is a situation that's over and you're still stuck in past old energy, you're going to start reflecting that. Getting your life force sucked out and things. So we're going to throw the dice of resonance. If you're familiar with what they are, then you're going to be like saying it with me. But it's an art project I did a year ago named by one of my subbies. It has the 12 zodiac signs, a clarifying die that lets you know if there's sun, moon, or rising and what role they play in your life. You also have the option to ask a yes or no question. If you'd like to ask a yes or no question, you can pause me. I'm premiering this, so I don't know if you can pause it, but just think of it really quickly. And then I'm going to toss them out. I don't interpret them. Just however they fall, they fall, Dagnabbit, son of a gun. Did you think of your question? Quickly! How you doing? Just kidding. All right. Woo! We have Taurus. We have Aquarius. We have the X. The answer to your question is yes. And we have moon. So the person could be a Taurus moon. <clears throat> they could be an Aquarius moon. They could be a Taurus sun. It don't matter. It's Taurus and Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? With the hybrid that falls. But one of them could be in their moon, whatever. Um, the role that they played in your life is the X. And the answer to your question is yes. You know what I'm saying and what not or whatever. Okay, I'm being very extra. Well, Libra, that has been your reading. If you want to see the extended holler at your girl on the Vimeo and whatnot or whatever, but it's been a pleasure. I will see you sooner than later. Cheers.